Soap Skin and Bubble is an amazing plugin by Joseph Liebinger that allows you to create tensile membranes. Let's load it as an extension. And you'll see the toolbar. Before we can use these tools, we have to create a closed loop of edges. To do this, I'll use the Polygon tool, and I'll just make a hexagon. Then I'll go ahead and select this face and delete it. Right now the edges are a closed polyline, and that would work for the plugin, but I'd like to change the form by making this closed loop three-dimensional. So to do that, I need to right-click and explode the curve, turning it into six individual line segments. Then I'll deselect and select these two opposite edges, holding down the Shift key to do so. Then I'll move these up in the blue direction to create this form. What Soap Skin and Bubble can do is create a surface that bridges all of these edges and connects them together in a smooth way. I'll select all of the edges and then click this first button that says Skin. Down here we're asked to set the number of divisions. Right now we have 10 in each direction. I'll type in 20 to make the surface a little bit more granular so it will curve that much more smoothly. Press return to set the division and then press return once more to calculate the surface. If this is all the plugin did, I'd be happy, but there's more. Press the space bar to go to the selection tool and click on the surface. Then click on the third button here. It's not obvious by the icon or the text here, but if we click on this button, it allows us to set the pressure. Right here the pressure is undefined. Down here in the measurements toolbar it's asking for pressure, and the status bar tells us that we can use a positive or a negative input pressure. Let's see what happens when we type in 10, press return, and the surface gets inflated. Let's try negative 10. The surface is deflated, or sucked down. Let's try a positive pressure of 30. It's inflated with even more air. It's like blowing a soap bubble. The ratio value up here is currently 1, which means that we have even tension in both directions along the membrane. We can change that to create a different form. Select the object and click this second button to set the ratio. Right now the ratio is 1. Let's try a ratio of 3. So there's more tension in one direction than the other, and this allows the pressure to be distributed in a different way. Let's try a ratio of 0.25. If you have a very complex object with lots of divisions, it might take a long time for this to calculate, and you can stop the animation by clicking this button, and you can restart it by clicking the play button. You can go to the author's website by clicking the final button.